this is how I wire up my submarine for silent mode. What, would, what does it do? It turns off the nuclear reactor. It turns off all of the machines that can make noise, so the deconstructor and the fabricators. It keeps the navigation and status terminal and everything that is critical turned on. So that could be the pump and that could be the large engine. Uh, optionally, you can keep the oxygen generator turned on. It also would slow down the engine so that the engine doesn't make any noise. So let's, uh, uh, and that last part of slowing down the engine, that is optional. If you are the captain and you just want to go really slow, then just drive super slow so that the engine doesn't make a noise. But I'm also going to build something so that you are forced to go slow on silent mode. So let's start. I have this uh, relay right here. It's a big relay. Uh, I just turned the scale up to 0 0.9 and max power is 10,000. And I chose to leave it off for now. And from this relay, we're actually gonna start by sending the state out of this relay to the set state of this light. This way, when we're on silent mode, this light is turned on. And then the toggle state of this relay is gonna be connected to this button, which means whenever you press this button, we are gonna be on silent mode. You can optionally uh, also set this toggle up here to the signal out one. So now the first button in your navigation will turn it on or off. Now let's uh, wire up the actual electricity running through. So we're going to go to the output of this battery. I choose to use uh, orange, um, sorry, output of this battery right here. I choose the orange because it's like my, my infrastructure for electricity into the power in of the battery. Same thing here, output of this battery into the power in of the relay. So again, output of batteries into the power in of the relay. And then from the relay, now I'm going to use red wires. And now I'm going to power up the pump. And I'm just going to do one pump because I don't need all of them running. This means, though, that when you're the captain, before you go on silent mode, it'd be really good to be in neutral buoyancy so that these pumps aren't super full or super empty. Um, or... Optionally, you can also power your pumps, but it means I'm going to use up lots of battery. And sometimes we might be on silent mode for a while. So th that's why I'm, I chose to not power up all of the, the, the pumps. So we have one pump, we have uh, one uh, engine, and then I'm going to power up this relay. This relay is just super simple. This relay uh, just powers up these two items over here. And that's, to me, that, that's, I, that's what I consider critical. You know, if we're, we are going to run out of oxygen, but if you start running out of oxygen, just go grab a mask or something. Um, I want to make sure my batteries last a very long time. Now, let's turn off this reactor. Uh, we're going to grab a signal component. And in this signal component, we're going to change it. Actually, I'm just going to delete this and start over again. So signal component. We're going to grab the signal component. And we're going to change it so that... Um, let's actually change the signal component here. So the signal component, we're going to look for a one. And if we get a one, we're going to output a one. And if we don't have a one, we're going to output nothing. So not even a zero. So delete that zero over there. So then we're going to go for the state out of this into the signal in of the signal component, signal out of the component back into here. This means when we are on silent mode, this reactor will stay off at all times. You could try turning it on, but it will keep getting turned off. Um, and that, that's what this light is for. If you want to replicate the light so that the engineers over here aren't like super confused as to why the, the reactor isn't turning on, you know, you can connect your light uh, as well over here. What I do for my uh, actual sub when I, when I actually build it, is I change the color of all the lights to a specific color so that everybody in the sub knows that we are on silent mode. So uh, this accomplishes most of the things that we want to accomplish. Um, this turns off the reactor, which means if the reactor doesn't have any power, the deconstructor is off. Um, and then uh, we have engine and we have pumps. So we're able to actually move the submarine. But if the captain wants to uh, drive the submarine really, really fast, then this engine is going to make a lot of noise. 
So let's go uh, figure out a way to, to fix that. Now, I'm just going to go off of my, my memory. I'm not going to run and test this. So I might make a mistake. If I do, take a look at the comments. Someone is probably going to correct me. But I think this is going to be right. Um, let's start with a relay over here. And this relay, I'm going to set. Uh, so this is going to stay off. This relay is going to stay on. And to force that, I'm going to put a not component over here. And I'm going to say whatever the state of this relay is, it's going to go to the not of this component into the state of this. So only one of these two relays can be on at all times. And then I'm going to grab my velocity x. This is for my engine. And I'm going to run it through signal 1 of the big relay and then signal out one of the big relay um, into a, I need a divide, divide circuit here as well. Divide. Oh, this is gonna look so complicated. I am totally sorry for you guys. Um, and then we need a memory circuit like this. <coughs> um, we want the power to be divided by, I don't know, five or six. This is up to you to, to figure out, depending on your engine strength and so on. But the signal out of this is going to go into the signal in of this divide. And the signal out of this memory component is going to go into signal two of that divide. And in this memory component, we are going to divide by, I don't know, I'm just going to put five. What I would do is I would just pick a number here, drive the submarine uh, in test mode and see if it makes a noise. And if it makes a noise, just keep making the, the number bigger. Make it 10 or something until it doesn't make a noise anymore, um, even when you're at full throttle on the engine. Okay. So um, now this signal out. Oh, I made a mistake. I should actually um, go signal in uh, velocity x of this into the divide first. And then from the divide, go into this relay. And then from this relay, we're going to go into the engine set force. Now, by default, this big relay is going to be off, which means that big th this engine is not going to receive anything from the terminal. Now, we're going to grab this terminal, and we're going to go set x out into the other relay that we have. And then we're going to go from out of one back in here, which means only one of these two wires are going to be working at, at any one time. So either this relay is going to be working or this relay is going to be working because of this not component that we have. And I th think that is silent mode. I, I think that looks about right. If I got it wrong, take a look at the comments. Um, and uh, I'll make a, pu a future video on how to do the lighting stuff. It's kind of complex as well. All right. See you guys later.